Hello there, I'm happy to introduce my new 3D printer. This is the Babulab A1 Multicolor 3D printer. Yes, it can print multicolor models with the help of AMS or automatic material system. The A1 can print up to a speed of 500 mm per second and reach up to 10,000 mm per second square acceleration. It has a touch screen, flow rate compensation, camera, Wi-Fi, automatic bed leveling, cube changeable nozzle, etc. So, in this video, I will show you the complete details of this awesome Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. Now, let's get started with this video. The price of Bamboo Lab A1 is about $489 in the official Bamboo store and about $62,000 in Amazon Dotin. You can also buy without the AMS, which costs around $339 in Bamboo store and $44,000 in Amazon Dotin. So, the Bamboo Lab A1 comes in this big pack. Everything is well packed and secured inside the box. I'm not explaining all the unboxing details. All assembly details are explained in the manual. All the tools required for assembly and maintenance are available in the toolbox. Everything is labeled separately which makes the assembly very easy. The printer comes in two parts. One is the XY frame and other is the base with the bed. The assembling of A1 is very simple. First remove these screws from the base which is marked as red. Now just place the base to the XY frame like this. Add some bolts which are marked in green color. Add some zip ties. Clip some JST connectors and we are ready to go. The printer comes with a two-sided textured PEA sheet and which is easily stick with the magnetic bed. The A1 comes with a small guider bracket on the back side of the bed which will help to position the PEA sheet correctly on the bed. This bed can reach up to 100 degrees Celsius. Before turning on the printer, let's set up the AMS also. That is also easy to set up. Just place the main part on the stand, attach the spool holders and tie it with screws. The AMS helps to print multicolor. This AMS can be used to change four filaments at a time. After assembling the AMS, we can connect the AMS to the printer. The body of this machine is made with aluminium and steel alloy. Also some parts are with plastic. The Y axis uses a metal roller system. X axis is a linear rail and the Z axis is driven by two lead screws which are connected to a single stepper motor using a belt. The build volume of this machine is about 256mm cube which is great for printing big models. This is the filament cutter which will cut the filament when a color change is needed. This is called filament purger which will clean the remaining filament from the nozzle on every color change. The A1 comes with a direct drive extruder setup and the nozzle can be changed very easily. The stock nozzle is steel based and it can reach up to 300 degrees Celsius. We can also upgrade the nozzle to a hardened steel nozzle for better performance. Here are the cooling fans for the printing model. Here you can see the camera which is a 1080 pixel camera which is used for shooting time lapse and monitoring the printing status. Finally here is the SD card slot. Now let's turn on the printer. You can hear some melody from the machine first. Now we can see the details on the screen. I'm talking about this display. This is a 3.5 inch 320 by 240 color IPS touch display. We can also adjust the angle of display. In the display, click on start and select the language and region. Then connect the printer to your Wi-Fi. Then scan and connect the printer to the Bamboo Lab Handy application. After that, printer starts to calibrate itself. 
The calibration includes motor noise level cancellation, leveling, vibration compensation, floor dynamics, etc. After the 15 minute calibration, we are ready to print in. For single color printing, we don't need the AMS. We can mount and use this spool holder. First, I tested it with normal PLA. I printed the Benchy model which comes with the printer. It took only 40 minutes to print the benzene. The result is perfect as expected. We can monitor the printing status via the Handy App and Bamboo Lab Studio. We can also control the printing using the app and studio. We can use this machine to print PLA, PATG, TPU and PVA and not suitable for ABS or ASA. Now let's try the multicolor printing. For that connect the four border tubes to the AMS and load the filament. The AMS comes with RFID, so if you are using Bapula filament, the AMS automatically detects the filament and set the filament settings. For generic filament, we can set it that by manually using the display or studio. You can download the colored models from Maker World, or you can color the model using Bapula Studio. Then we can print. We can see the printing. After printing one color, the machine automatically cut the filament, then purge the remaining filament from nozzle and load the next filament. Very nice. You can see the printed models and the print quality now. So in a nutshell, this awesome machine is perfect for both beginners and professionals. This printer is not only offers great speed, the multicolor printing and easy to use features grabs extra points. So, if you are looking for a new 3D printer, then you should try this Bamboo Lab A1. If you have any doubt about this printer, please comment it. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.